Hello and welcome to Audio for the Arts and it is really my pleasure to introduce these three guys because I've been working with them on this album and this is a special presentation made possible by some grants in the Art Lit Lab. We're going to talk about that just a little bit later but before we get into all that let's just hop into the music. This is Brad Townsend on bass, Nick Zielinski on drums, Anders Svano on baritone sax, Please give a warm welcome to Mantis.
Good evening. Thank you for joining us this evening. Um, that was Nick Zielinski on the drums, by the way. Give it up for Nick. And Mr. Brad Townsend on the bass. Give it up for Brad, everybody out there in Cyberland. And uh, I'm Andrew Tavano on the Barry saxophone. And uh, that last tune that you heard was an original composition that I wrote uh, entitled Monk in the Land of Oz. And uh, <laughs> that one is breaking up. Uh oh. Use that one. Yes. Breaking up mic. Is yeah. it better? Yes. Hopefully it's better. Did I repeat what I said? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take two, everybody. Take two. Nick Zielinski on drums, everybody. Woo! Mr. Brad Townsend on bass. And I'm Andrew Savano on the Barry Sax. And that was a composition entitled Monk in the Land of Oz. And uh, we're a new group on the block entitled Mantis. And uh, we'd like to continue with another composition um, that will be featured on our upcoming record in the next couple of weeks. This is entitled Intersection.
Thank you for uh, listening this evening. This evening, I need my glasses. Um, Buzz and I are going to have a little chat here. Um, but before we get started, I would just like to thank a number of people that made this recording and this live stream possible. Um, Dane Arts and the Madison Arts Commission um, with additional funds from the Wisconsin Arts Board, the Endress Manufacturing Company Foundation, the Avihu Foundation Incorporated, the charitable arm of the Capital Times, the W. Jerome Frouchy Foundation, and the Pleasant T. Rowland Foundation. Um, without their support financially, this project wouldn't have happened. And we'll explain how that happened in a second. I'd also like to thank Buzz here, somebody that I've been working with for a long time now, so it's been like home yeah. <laughs> coming here. And uh, Audio for the Arts, of course, it's a great, great room. Uh, the Art Lit Lab, uh, they have a new fantastic building that uh, I'm really looking forward to having music uh, in that building. Um, I curate a new music series uh, once a month, and we'll hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, uh, we'll be able to have live music uh, in the fall. Uh, JoLynn Rorda, who also has been uh, extremely helpful. Um, without her, uh, none of this really would have happened, so it's fantastic that we have her support. Of course, everybody here, uh, Noah and Audrey, and uh, of course, the band as well. So, And Bruce Johnson is directing, so we'll and make Bruce. sure he gets his uh, kudos too. Yeah, I just actually met JoLynn for the first time today, and she gave me a tour. I, we'd known of each other, but you know, we hadn't actually met in person. And she gave me a tour of the new facility, and I'm anxious to be able to start doing stuff over there. And um, and it's the um, it's the the correct name, by the way, of it is the Arts and Literature Laboratory, but we all just call it the Art Lit Lab, right. and uh, that's kind of how it's known in the uh, in the local music uh, nomenclature. And she was mentioning to me how this project started out as a it was going to be a live concert uh, series thing, and uh, and then obviously. You know, like everybody, we had to, you know, adapt with the pandemic. So right. uh, tell us that story. How did this evolve? So, um, yeah, I mean, once COVID hit, everything shut down. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we were sort of slated to be the house band. Uh, we were going to, uh, and we are still going to run in the fall, but we were planning on doing a, a, jam, a new music experimental jam session uh, once a month with these guys as the house band. Okay. And um, we had been kind of playing a little bit. We had done your Acoustic Moose session a yes. year and a half ago. Yes, and that's what catapulted you to fame. Uh, under a different name, <laughs> um, uh, but we're still the same guys, I think. And um, Are you? So, so when, when the pandemic hit and everything shut down, it's like, well, let's maybe change the focus on a different kind of project that we could do remotely. Uh, that would work for everybody, and so um, we got permission to change the the focus from uh, a concert series to uh, making a record, mm -hmm. and then this live stream. So um, it's been a lot of fun. It was kind of a bit of a rush project. I had about two and a half to three weeks to write all the music mm -hmm. and uh, get the guys together, do some rehearsals, record, mix, master, get the artwork. Mm -hmm. uh, if any of you have done these kinds of things, you know it takes a long time. It's something that usually doesn't happen in two to three weeks. So right. it was kind of light speed, and everyone was on board, and uh, it worked out really well. And I think the record is really nice. Um, so I, I hope that we can play more gigs, you know, come fall, yeah. and uh, hopefully maybe even in the summer. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's, it's getting better. It's getting better. It's getting better. Yeah. And this is... Um, for those of you watching, this is a, a really unique trio situation. Usually a jazz trio would have some kind of a, 
you know, harmonic instrument, an instrument that can that can play chordal stuff. It'd be like piano, bass, drums, or maybe guitar, or maybe even vibes or something like that. Um, when there's a saxophone involved, typically there is that fourth instrument. Then, but uh, you guys are doing this this thing, and it really creates a, a really unique sound. And it's been really fun to work with you on this and on the record. And before I step back out and uh, and go back to my mixing duties, uh, tell us about the CD and how people can get that either as a physical media thing or as a download and when that would be available. Yeah, I'm thinking probably in the fall it will okay. be available, and it's it's a free CD to those that want it. Um, and I'm sort of planning on passing it out. I know. didn't even know that. Yeah, I think wow. well, with the grant money, I don't think we can charge people. So I don't know how that, <laughs> that I haven't like asked about that. Double dipping, okay, so fair I, enough. I think, I think uh, you know, I'd be, I'd be giving them away. Um, okay. And the hope is that we sort of grow the concert series at the Art Lit Lab and um, – you know, we'll have this jam session as well. We're also thinking about maybe having a sort of a free orchestra okay. with a, a number of different players. So we're just um, that would be sort of like a you know business card that we hand out to, right. to people that are interested in in the music. Mm -hmm. And um, and to yeah, to step back just a second with the, the no harmonic instrument. You know, Brad is yeah. doing double duty here, uh, which is which is tough you know yeah. we, we are, i i prefer the openness of i mean no offense to guitar players or piano yeah, no, players I mean, they all have their place but this is this is a really cool yeah, yeah like you said there's a lot of openness open. to it and you got i mean you just got such a you know such a great combination of players here um i loved hearing what you were doing um, when we were doing the record and uh, and this is uh, this is a real treat too so and i didn't even know the cd was free so hey everybody the cd <laughs> is free so there you go all right cool <laughs> So, yeah, if there's anything else I forgot to ask you, or should we jump uh, back in? I don't know. Anything you guys want to add? Yeah, Brad, Brad, I can give you your mic back. I, well, I must say, I'm had it, <laughs> now that you've handed it to me, yeah. um, I've had uh, uh, just a wonderful time playing with these guys and working with you and here at Audio for the Arts as well. But um, uh, it, it's, it's just been really fun, and, you know, it, it's obvious when we got together for the first time that, it, you know, um, it gels really, really well. We're good listeners. Um, you know, we just like to play music. So, uh, been real happy about that, and uh, really happy with how things are turning out with the uh, with the recording and and the artwork and everything. It's great. So, cool. but, yeah, nice, so. nice. <laughs> Nick's Nick's speech consists of I I'm just, good. I, so, everything Brad said, that's why I agree. There you go. I was writing comments on the YouTube feed on my phone. <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> well, you guys nice. <laughs> nice. Wow. Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a terrific sound, and uh, I won't do the annoying thing that anno announcers sometimes do, which is to tell you how great the band is, because you're flipping hearing them. So let's just get back to it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mantis. Thank you. 
that was a collective improvisation that high, hi Audrey, uh, that the three of us just did. That's entitled Hot Shot. Um, the tune that you heard before that uh, is a tune that I wrote uh, the day after we got our second COVID shot, my wife and I. She had a bit of a reaction with the high fever. So that is a tune I entitled Rosy Cheeks because she's sort of flushed from the uh, from the second shot. But um, anyway, these are all original compositions, most of written by me or by the band. And uh, we'd like to continue on with sort of our theme song, I guess, for the moment. This is a tune entitled Mantis.
Thank you very much. Brad Townsend on the bass. Nick Zielinski on the drums. I'm Andrew Savano. That was a tune called Mantis. We're going to take a short break and be back in probably a couple minutes. So please stick around. More music to come. Thank you. Thanks, y'all.
Welcome back uh, to tonight's concert. We are Mantis, and we'd like to continue this evening's music with another original entitled Skedaddle. Thank you. 
That was a tune entitled Skedaddle. Uh, we'd like to continue on with another piece that um, I wrote entitled Meeting Up, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Again, Brad Townsend on the bass. Well, there's only three of us. It goes quickly here going through the personnel. Nick Zielinski on the drums. And I'm Andrew Savano on Barry Saxophone. We'd like to do, I think we have time for two more pieces. 
Um, that piece was entitled Meeting Up. And uh, this next number will feature Mr. Zielinski on the drums. This piece is entitled Numbers. So thank you again for tuning in. Um, 
That was Nick Zielinski on the drums on a tune entitled Numbers. Uh, would like to finish with one more tune um, that I'll explain in a second. But again, I'd like to thank, um, special thanks really go out to Dane Arts, uh, the Madison Arts Commission for supporting the project, uh, additional funds from the Wisconsin Arts Board, the Enders Manufacturing Company Foundation, the AVU Foundation, it's Norwegian, right? AVU, am I saying that right? Uh, the Capital Times, the W. Jerome Frouchy Foundation, and the Pleasant T. Roland Foundation. Again, special thanks to Buzz Kemper, Audrey, Noah, the gang, the band, um, Art Lit Lab, uh, Bruce, forgot about Bruce, and of course, Jolyn Rorda over at Art Lit Lab for uh, making this entire thing possible. Um, Buzz, did you want to come in and say anything, or are we, are we good? Well, whatever, we could talk a little now and do one more tune. I will. <laughs> Buzz Kemper, ladies so. and gentlemen. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I do want to thank you guys for, for doing this. We're getting a lot of the comments I'm seeing uh, on, on the Facebook uh, postings are things like, oh, I can't wait to actually come out and see live music again. So we're whetting people's appetite for this, and, uh, and it's, uh, it's just terrific. It's been really fun working with you guys on the album. Uh, Nick, thank you. Brad, thank you. Anders, as always, thank you. We've got a long history. I'm going to keep working with you till I get it right. Um, <laughs> and uh, me too. And just to do uh, just to do proper technical credits for my colleagues, Bruce Johnson is directing. Audrey Martinovich and Noah Gilfillan are operating cameras. And um, I'm you know I'm I'm coming out here and saying words once in a while. I'm also doing the mix. Uh, thank you all uh, for tuning into this Art Lit Lab. Jolyn, thank you so much. And uh, we always appreciate people who join us for these great uh, presentations here at Audio for the Arts. Thank you, Buzz. So we'd like to do one last composition. Uh, this is entitled Mitchell Field.
Mitchell Field featuring Brad Townsend on the bass, Nick Zielinski on the drums, and I'm Andrew Savano. Thanks for watching. We hope to see everybody out enjoying live music very soon. So uh, we see you soon. Thank you.